Okay, this is So Come Gush Master. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can make a calculator like this using Visual Basics 6.0, which is what I use. Um, now I cannot tell you where I got it, um, because I can't tell you how to download it free. That would be illegal, and I'm not illegal. But okay, open up your Visual Basics. This one's pretty easy. Um, easier than my other videos. Do standard.exe. Um. Make the form a little bigger. Put this wherever you want it. Um, okay, make three text boxes. Actually, no, I'm going to make this one look a little better than my other ones. So make two text boxes and a label. Um, go to this text box, change the text to zero. Go to this text box. Change the text to zero. Um, you can also make the font a little bigger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it to twelve bold, and that one to twelve bold also. Um, and then I'm gonna take my label and put that to twelve bold, and change the caption for your label to nothing so your labels empty and I'm gonna change my background for it to what colors do I want this one to be how about a dark red okay and I'm gonna put my four color to a uh, light blue so that when the answer goes in to it um, say the answer is 25 it will show up like that um, I'm also going to center it so the answer would come up like that um, change this back to nothing caption back to nothing because you don't want anything for the caption so it will look kind of like that or your colors if you pick different colors. Now make a button, four buttons, same size. Watch my other videos first if you don't know how to change the captions because I'm not going to keep moving the camera to change the captions. Make sure you put them up like this, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Click on the first one, change the caption to add. Click on the second one, change the caption to subtract. Third one, change it to divide. Fourth one, change it to multiply. Um, I'm going to click on the word form, go over here, change the caption to calculator. And I'm going to change the background color to that. Um, okay, now, double click on add and put label one dot caption equals the value of text two, uh, text one dot text plus the value of text two dot text. So that's saying that when you hit the add button, it's going to add up those two and put it in here. The answer in there. Hit that X to get back to the form. Um, now double click on subtract. You can copy this. Put it here. But take off the plus and put it like a dash. Now I go back up here and exit this and come back to here. Double click on divide. 
paste it, change this to a slash. X, double click on multiply, paste it, change this to an asterisk or a star, whatever you want to call it. And that's basically a calculator. Hit play. Type in, I don't know, 10, 15. Add, I should get 25. Subtract, I should get negative 5. Divide, I'm not sure what I should get. Um, okay. Multiply works, divide works, okay. And see how that's all messed up? What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my frame and I'm going to make it bigger. So it can go across the whole screen. So if you wanted to get a big number, you could get a big number. So I'm going to see if that whole number fits in now. 10, 15, divide. Yeah, see now you can see the whole number and stuff. So that was easier. Um, that's how you can make a calculator. You can add in any text you want using a label. Um, I suggest doing the labels and stuff after you're already done and after your calculator already works. So, yeah, watch some of my other videos. Make sure to subscribe and have a good day. Um, well, actually, I didn't teach. I didn't tell you how to save it. But you should know for the other video. Make project one exe desktop calculator. Okay. Look on your desktop, and there should be calculator.exe. Don't click on it, it brings up your calculator. Um, you can watch my other video on how to change the icon, um, which is called um, EXE file icon changing tutorial or something like that. I forget the name. But thank you for watching and have a good day.